This video is intended to help show you how to properly troubleshoot and test an ABS wheel speed sensor. There are two tests that we use when testing an ABS wheel speed sensor. The first test we'll be looking at will be the ABS wheel speed sensor resistance test. This test is used when you have a fault code indicating a faulty wheel speed sensor with an issue such as a short or open circuit. To perform this check, we will take a look at the wheel speed sensor that connects to an extension cable that routes to the ECU. We want to begin with disconnecting the relevant sensor and check for any corrosion. Next, we'll measure the resistance between the two pins in the sensor connection housing. We'll do this using an ohms meter. The reading on the ohms meter should be within 980 and 2350 ohms. If the sensor is outside of this range, then replace the sensor cable. If the sensor readings are within the specific range, then connect the sensor to the sensor extension and continue checking the harness. Now we'll take a look at performing the voltage check on the sensor cable. First, let's go to where the sensor cable connects to the sensor extension cable. Remove the yellow sensor extension clip. Once you take the clip off, disconnect the sensor cable. Be sure to take a look for any corrosion that may be present on either side of the sensor cable or the sensor extension cable. To perform the voltage check, you'll need your multimeter. You will set it to check AC volts. Then, with the probes of the multimeter, check the pins in the wheel speed sensor harness. While doing this, spin the wheel that the wheel speed sensor is connected to. You need to spin the wheel at a rate of about one revolution every two seconds. With the wheel spinning at the desired rotation level, check the readings on the multimeter. The multimeter should be reading at at least 200 millivolts or 0.2 VAC. If this is not the case, push in the sensor until it touches the exciter ring and perform this test again. If this still does not fix the problem, then you may need to check the wheel bearings and play. Check the tooth wheel for any damage and also check that the tooth wheel has the same number of teeth at each wheel end. This may mean you have to take a look at making sure the correct tire size is being used with the correct tooth wheel also. Please refer to Haldex Installation Slash Service Guide L30041 for the chart. For more information, visit haldex.com.